So in this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview of AngularJS. So why we love it, what's so awesome about it, what are some key features about AngularJS, right? How does it make our lives easier? So let's get into that. So I've actually prepared this slide for you to break that down for you. So the first thing is, it is a framework for dynamic web development. Well, if this is your first time using a framework, let me go ahead and break that down for you. So a framework provide specific functionality to facilitate development of a software application. If that sounds a little bit wordy, all it means is that a lot of people had the same problem and a group of people sought to find a solution for, right? To, to make some tools so that we can better solve that problem. So what is the problem? Well, the problem is HTML wasn't built to be dynamic, right? So now we're getting into the how. So AngularJS extends HTML so we can manipulate pages dynamically, right? That's what our framework does. It actually allows us to make custom tags in HTML. So uh, granted, you're watching this video, you all know HTML and CSS. We all know what the div tag is. Say I wanted to make a tag called to div, right? So to div, you know, with the brackets to div, then we have our close, what is it? Our slash and then to div, right? So every time I put the to div tag there, it will make two divs, right? We actually can make that tag in Angular. Really cool stuff. That's just a slice of the pie of why Angular is so awesome. So now what's next? Allows us to separate our views from our code or website logic. So a lot of the times when we're making dynamic uh, websites, we have our code all in one file um, or we have you know, our, and our HTML and another one, it just can get very confusing as to where everything is. There's no real structure to it. So AngularJS actually allows us to separate our views, which is our HTML and our code into two separate places. And it actually makes a, a lot of sense. There's some structures to it. So that's a really great feature. We also have ability to two-way data bind. So a lot of the times when we're making dynamic web pages, we have a form of some sort. And when we put information in that form, we have to click submit, apply and that's just a pain right we have to write a lot of boilerplate code just to actually get those results from our save to show up in the next page angular does this solves this problem with two-way data binding actually as soon as we type in our information it's available to us right so we can write it in code and it's available to our forms and when we start typing in our forms it's available to our logic in the background right this will make more sense later on but trust me this is a key feature to angular and it's really really awesome so dependency injection is our last thing, and dependency injection essentially allows us to get a hold of the components we need when we need them. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail about dependency injection just because it might get a little bit confusing, but a lot of times in HTML and CSS, it's really hard to get a hold of what we need when we need it. AngularJS allows us to do this very elegantly. So that is an overview of AngularJS. Let's get into it. 